Coming up in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the most beautiful wintry scenes that I've experienced in over a decade of boat life. And well, first, let's uh, have a look what it was like last night when the snow had first started to fall. So I went out armed with one of the most powerful flashlights available, and I've got to say that seeing the world in this environment, but also this light, I was I was blown away. It looks fantastic, and even with my naked eyes, there's something that didn't quite look real about this environment. You can see, looking up at the snowflakes there, it's almost like we're heading into hyperspace in Star Wars or something. But seriously, just take in this absolutely awesome snowy environment. So embarrassingly, I actually went out late last night to get my uh, filming done because I was concerned that by the morning the snow would have all gone. And uh, of course, at half seven this morning when my alarm went off, I jumped up out of bed, looked out of the window and couldn't believe my eyes that it was still in fact snowing and believe it or not, as beautiful and serene and magical as this snowy scene is now, even since recording this footage around 8am this morning, it has snowed for another five hours and it's forecast, and this really is a believe it or not moment, to continue snowing for another 12 hours. Uh, so we'll see how it goes and I'll post some pictures and updates if it continues to grow with the inches and inches of snow. But in all seriousness, drawing it back to just this moment here, I've been incredibly lucky over the years living on various boats in various parts of this wonderful world on the border between England and Wales. And there is just something absolutely magical when it snows. Don't get me wrong, it can bring its own issues where you've got obviously potential supply issues and so on. But if you've got a wood burning stove pumping out the heat on board and you're there wrapped up toasty and you can see this going on outside the window, it is one of the most serene, calm, cosy, almost safe feelings that I've ever experienced in my life. I mean, just look at this. Absolutely fantastic. And like you say, these are just the holiday boats. So you haven't even got the element of smoky chimneys and lovely canal scenery here. This is, this is really a working marina. So you can see as we approach the mighty Pont Casuffly Aqueduct, we've got various little statues and arty things around. And of course, the difference between last night and this morning is pretty obvious. And like I say, there's even more snow come down, possibly twice as much, maybe more snow already there than there was when I was out here filming. Um, this little cage here at the entrance is only a temporary fixture. They've been closing it off some nights while they've been working on the railings, obviously given the narrow path and the high <laughs> point that you're walking across, it's only basic safety. So don't worry, those big cages aren't normally there spoiling the amazing scenery. Now here, last night, I was trying to show you the lovely little scenic bridge down over the River Dee that passes beneath the aqueduct, but of course the snow made it near impossible. So here in the daytime, once again you can see, even with the wonderful light of the morning, it's still a, a case of looking for these details and the absolutely lovely little stone bridge over the river there, just peeking out. but very much disappearing into the murk of a beautiful snowy day. I think that if you could get some elevation and be quite high up after the snow's finished falling, you would have some of the most incredible environments and panoramas that you'll get any time of year at the moment. Anyway, I'm getting overexcited. Again, I love cutting between last night and today, not only because I love seeing the world lit up with the super torch, but also seeing um, just how much snow has fallen, even though it was nowhere near as heavy as it has since become. You can see there that the footprints that were crossing the aqueduct prior to mine have been, st uh, they've started to be filled in by the snow, so maybe nobody's been across for an hour or so. Apart from, of course, judging by the smaller footprints, the birds who have been absolutely loving it and just having the time of their life out here with undisturbed snowy scenery to float about in. You can see over there we've got uh, a couple of horses in the field. Amazing really to think that 
they've decided to go and stand out in the middle of all these conditions. But just look at this, my friends. The River Dee beneath us, surrounded by, I don't know what you'd say, I mean, just those snow-covered trees. But again, because all the greenery of spring hasn't come out and the leaves aren't on them, they're the skeletal trees of a real winter scene. Beautiful stuff. My friends, I cannot tell you how chilly, but incredibly blessed I feel to be in this absolutely... I, I mean, I just can't believe it. This is absolutely incredible. These are the sort of conditions that you go to bed at night and dream about waking up to. Don't get me wrong, my fingers and everything are absolutely freezing. Especially being out here on the aqueduct where you can possibly see just exposed to that slight breeze as well as already being slightly damp and chilly but the snow is being driven sideways not a massive gale or anything like that but enough in these temperatures and conditions to feel extremely cold I oh man my finger I can't even I, my hand's so cold I can't even hold on to this any longer Sorry about that little clip there, my friends. I just wanted to show you all what a brave boy I was being, going out there filming all this to put this video together. But again, in all seriousness, it is an absolute blessing to be in these environments. And if you've seen any of my snowy videos in the past from on board my various boats, you'll know that there is something that I don't know whether Again, I can say I'm blessed and I can say it's amazing and it looks beautiful and you can see it, but what I often try and say to people and have said in these videos is that it's one thing to look at it and to say, wow, that's lovely, but when you're actually there surrounded by it, apart from obviously the, the downsides of the chill and the damp and the rest of it, when you're just there, especially if you're just on a bit of canal without the breeze blowing by, it can be about as silent a world as you could possibly imagine and there is something absolutely breathtaking about that and when I took that little bit of footage of the lift bridge that you just saw being stood there just for a few seconds as the uh, snow was falling around me and I was just there just enjoying that moment Do you have that moment where you're like Oh wow, I can't hear a single thing. This is absolute peaceful silence. And that's gotta be one of the things that I love most about the snowy conditions. We don't get conditions like this very often, so it's always great to get out and enjoy it while it's here. But there's those moments, like you say, those elements like the absolute silence, the crunching and slight uh, depression that your foot makes every time you step. It's all of those little details that I often forget and then once I get out into these environments again in these weather conditions I'm like oh yes this is fantastic I love this stuff. Anyway thank you very much my friends for tuning in and joining me for this lovely scenic walk for a moment or two. Please do stay tuned and subscribe as I'm looking to buy my third boat at the moment so let's see how that goes. But until the next time, my friends, please consider checking out my short boat life books available for the Kindle and as a paperback. Have a look at all the links in the descriptions for loads of boaty footage and wonderful scenes like this that I post all over the internet. And until the next time, my friends, have an absolutely fantastic day. Keep it interesting. Keep it boat worthy. And of course, my friends, farewell.